welcome people now we have reached this stage very important one antibody detection vidal test for enteric fever typhoid vidal test test you are detecting serum antibodies okay it is one of the oldest and most widely used serological tests for diagnosis of enteric fever diagnosis of enteric fever <clears throat> okay moving on it was discovered by fernand weidel in 1896 Dis discovered by fernand weidel in 1896 who discovered weidel test weidel itself discovered weidel test principle <clears throat> it's an agglutination test this you know what we use what antigens we use o antigen of s typhi h antigens of s sorry salmonella para typhi a b we use and o also h antigens of all these we use s typhi s pa, uh, salmonella typhi salmonella para typhi a and b okay so the antigens used are o antigen of salmonella typhi that's called as to h antigens of salmonella typhi that is called as th correct no then you have h antigens of salmonella para typhi a those are called as ah and h antigens of salmonella para typhi b that's called as bh okay typhi o typhi h para typhi ah para typhi bh okay so you are going to check the agglutination of antibodies and antigens okay what are the antigens these are the antigens these are ready made ant antigens you will have ready made antigens you will have then the patient's serum you will add patient's serum should have the antibodies and if the antibodies are present in the patient serum it will agglutinate hence your viral test will show you what has uh, what kind of infection it is okay let us try to interpret the result okay now let us uh, just look at this this is a slide they have done it on a slide it's not very precise okay when you do it on a slide you should actually do it in tubes but let us say slide you have done as a screening test and you can see that o antibodies are present okay so o agglutination will be there so to has agglutinated that means it can be anything it can be typhi para typhi a or b that is because i think they are using 12 12 if you have seen this o12 is present in all the three do you remember that table this one in this if you can see in a b and typhi 12 is common right so if you use that definitely you will get to rises means either some infection typhoid or para typhoid something this guy has okay now <clears throat> if to and th increase then it is definitely typhi if to and ah increases definitely para typhi a if to and bh increases definitely para typhi b no doubt this much four are clear correct now two strange things are there if a person has all more th ah tb everything all the hits then he has a vaccination okay now what if only uh, th rises there is no to so to has gone and th is there that means you remember we had studied that o is early to come and early to leave but h will be late to come and late to leave so it means to say that person is in a convalescent stage okay or it could be an am an amnestic reaction that means enhanced reaction of the body's immune to an antigen don't bother much about those things remember this much if it is only to that means 
it could be anything h hasn't appeared yet only a has come it's a recent infection and we still don't know whether it is typhi or paratyphi now if o and h increases it is definitely typhi if it is o and ah definitely paratyphi a o and bh definitely paratyphi b and if it is only h all the three h's are present it is a vaccination and if only th is present that means to say that it is a convalescent stage this much you understood right very good let's revise uh, vidal test uh, it is for detecting the serum antibodies especially used in typhoid uh, fever diagnosis of enteric typhoid paratyphoid it was discovered by vidal in 1896 the principle is agglutination test antibodies and antigen agglutinate you have ready made antigens for these okay sometimes they could even be bound in these uh, plates and you can just directly use it on them so o antigen of uh, salmonella typhi h antigens of salmonella typhi h antigens of salmonella paratyphi a and h antigens of salmonella paratyphi b and this is the interpretation of the test details of how to do this test actually there is tube also if you see this photo tubes right slide is there tube is there you should know how to do the slide and tube slide is very simple you can just put um, o here o antigen here h antigen here a h antigen here and a b h antigen here this will be a negative control and this will be a positive control negative control will not have anything positive control should have the uh you you should make it agglutinate so you should add antibodies which actually will agglutinate also so this will be a comparison for you to check the agglutination positive control and negative control